Hi, I'm Em Cavell and today I'll be giving you my top tips travelling in London. Whether you're living in London or just visiting, it's important that you know a few of the unwritten rules and general tips for the city that'll just make your time here a lot more pleasant. I've actually been living in London for about a year now. I moved down because of a media internship and since then I've actually set up my own uh, small business slash app called Rapid Transit, which I will go into more detail about later. For now though, let's dive right in with my favourite top tips and tricks for travelling in London. Number one, being in the right place at the right time. While you're in London, the chances are you're going to use the underground, which means you'll be using the escalators in the underground, which means you're going to have to stand on the right at all times. I don't know if this is like a thing that they do everywhere or if this is just London, but like always stay on the right hand side. If you're traveling with a suitcase, put it in front of you on the escalator. If you have a kid, hold their hand, put them in front of you. And if you're traveling in a group, make sure that they all stay on the right hand side. Make sure that you keep everyone in sight and on the right. Tip two, splitting up. Not in the Scooby-Doo sense, just splitting up. This tip only really applies to groups, so if you're traveling solo, feel free to skip to the time shown here on the screen for the next tip. So this tip actually stems from a personal experience I had when I was in guides. We went on a trip to London and the leaders insisted that when we got the tube, we all got on at one set of double doors. And there were 15 of us, so it didn't happen. Um, three of us got stranded on the platform and had to get the next train. So if you are in a big group, make sure that you split into smaller subgroups that have an appropriate number of like adult leaders or like chaperones or if you're on a drunken night out, some sober-ish friends. Um, and then you'll be able to get back a lot quicker and a lot safer, even if you're just getting on different um, doors at the same train, it, it just works a lot better. This speeds up your journey because it lowers the risk of having to wait around for someone to get the next train and it just, it keeps everyone together, it's a lot easier. It also gives you a lot more time to explore, check into your hotel, get that perfect Instagram picture or whatever you came to London to do. Tip number three, staying alert. London is known for many things such as its beautiful shops, shows, landmarks, interesting places to visit. It wouldn't be a capital city without a pickpocket, pickpocket epidemic. I don't know if that counts or not, but we'll go with it. And unfortunately they have come a long way since Oliver and Fagan and the Artful Dodger because they know what they're doing. To avoid losing anything on your trip, um, avoid bags that you can't fasten properly. So like tote bags that are just open at the top because they will just and get something out. You don't want that. Um, and maybe avoid backpacks unless you're gonna wear them on your front. But like I personally, I don't do that because I don't like how it looks. I feel like it makes you look more like a tourist and then you're more of a target. So. I'd say like a bum bag across the chest, perfect, or like um, just any zippable bag that you can have across the body. Across the body bags are like the way to go in London. Or just pockets, just use all your pockets. Wear cargo trousers and just fill your pockets. Also, only carry the essentials and like avoid carrying large sums of cash because if you do get pickpocketed and you have like 50 quid on you, you're not gonna see it again. You're not gonna get it back. It's not gonna work. <laughs> like, just avoid it if you can. Number four, be prepared. It sounds like the scouting logo motto thing. It is the scouting logo motto thing, but it does actually apply to London quite well as well. This may seem like an obvious tip, but it's so crucial to your trip that you make sure you book everything in advance. Hotels, tickets, anything like that. Because if you buy them on the day, the chances are you might get scammed or you might not be able to get it. Also, be sure that you pack and dress for the weather because London is very unpredictable, but it is definitely known for being rainy. I would say your best bet is probably wearing like a lot of layers that you can take off easily, but without like causing loads of problems on the tube because if you're trying to take a massive jumper off, it's just gonna, you're not gonna have space on the tube. And finally, number five, find ways to entertain yourself. Traveling can be so boring, especially when you're doing like a long route on the underground because there's no signal and the Wi-Fi only really connects at like each station and then by the time you get there you've connected you've just gone again so my advice would be pre-download any music you want to listen to on the journey like on whatever your music app of choice is and find yourself a game that doesn't require any signal doesn't require any wi-fi and is just like a really good game you know it's funny i should say this because actually i have the one for you rapid transit is a light-hearted mobile game that doesn't require any data or any signal to work, so it's perfect for the underground. And it just happens to be based on the underground as well. So every time you visit a new station, you can unlock bonus features, extra levels, extra characters. And every time you visit a landmark in London, you can do the same. Each of the levels are based on an underground station. My personal favorite is Elephant and Castle because 
it's just quite cute. The best thing about Rapid Transit is it's completely free to download, so scan the QR code here or go to our website in the description to find out more. Now you may be thinking, as the app's creator, I'm a little bit biased, and you'd be completely right. I love this game, I've put all my heart and soul into it, so don't just take my word for it. Here's what some of our lovely fans have said about Rapid Transit. Brilliantly designed, fantastic art style, addictive as anything, I highly recommend Rapid Transit. Rapid Transit is a great game and for someone who spends so much time commuting and you can't get on Wi-Fi etc, it's a really good way to spend your time and to just help things kind of proceed faster. But it's a really fun app and it really is worth downloading, I really do recommend it. Rapid Transit is honestly such a good app to have and you don't even have to use your data. And data is super expensive so technically you're saving yourself a lot of money. Anyway, that brings me to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching, I hope these tips have been useful and I hope you're tempted to download my app or in the link. <laughs> if you would like to, you can subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, share this with your friends that you're visiting London with, anything you want, just don't dislike it. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you and good night. <laughs>